the 30th anniversary of the Thrill of Manila. This is a place in history of this of this fight. Well, what has happened is Muhammad Ali is basically, uh, I think, he has become bigger than boxing. Maybe he's a memory. Maybe he's someone that everyone who is now middle age grew up with. Maybe he's boxing's version of the Brooklyn Dodgers for the people who lived in Brooklyn. He's nostalgia, he's memory. So anything that Ali ever did has uh, been bigger than the sport itself. That said, that fight was one of the biggest events in boxing because it was a third part of a trilogy. The second fight wasn't all that good, but everybody remembers the March 8th, 1971 fight. So this one succeeded that. And it was, I think, the last professional boxing gasp for both of them. They left it all in the ring. It was a tremendous fight, one of the greatest of all time, for the heavyweight championship, PSSSS. And I think it got the worldwide coverage that it should have. It was in a foreign country, obviously, the Philippines. And it was one of those seminal moments that everyone will remember where they were because it was that great a fight. It had that great an ending that we're still discussing. Eddie Futch's humanitarianism and stopping the fight. Should it have been stopped? I mean, this is what makes Dempsey Tunney. People are still talking about that if they haven't fallen over under the weight of their collected memories in 1927. They're still talking about it. Same with Ali Fraser in Manila, the thriller in Manila. And it had a catchy name. How can you not? How can you not remember the thriller in Manila? I mean, it had all the elements, but it had Muhammad Ali. And he's transcended the sport, really. Is their feud had a lot to do with it, too? The little gasoline on the fire? I think their feud had a little to do with it. I mean, it still simmers in Joe's, Fraser's soul. But I just think the fight itself was so magnificent. See, this is why boxing is so great. There are two men in there in their underwear. I don't care that it says Everlast on it. It's their underwear. They're naked. And these two men showed everything, and it was visible to all of us. This wasn't like a great football game where they're wearing pads and helmets. You don't even see them. This was boxing, and they were right there, and they did everything they should have and more. And as Ali said at the end, it was the closest thing to death, and it was.